Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today I wanted to show you a complete set that I'm really happy with how it panned out. So I thought I'd share it with you guys today. So let's get right into it. Before we get into today's main video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone, as I always do, uh, to everyone that's been smashing up the like button on these videos. The last couple of videos have done really well likes-wise, so I thank you so much. But don't forget to keep doing it because I want to get as many eyes on this hobby as possible, hopefully educate some people and maybe even inspire people to create their own complete sets. Also, welcome to the new subscribers. We're almost at that 1,000 mark, so well done to you guys. Really, really do appreciate all the love and support. And you can also follow me on any of my other social medias, all under the name Hammond's Hobbies. Right, so let's get into today's video. I just want to uh, say before we actually can show the set, one of the most popular questions I get is, Glenn, what is that binder? What binders do you use? So even though I named it last time, people still commented that. So... <laughs> I'm going to say it again. So we have a Vault X binder. Now this is actually one of their limited edition ones that they released. And the reason I like this limited edition one, it's meant to be for a Pokemon set. It actually says on the side here, Sword and Shield 9. This binder is uh, sort of like a nice white creamy sort of look, but it has gold zipper and uh, a gold um, zip all the way around the edge. So it looks really elegant. It looks really sort of lush, if you like. It looks expensive, uh, which obviously, if you're displaying like, you know, a 500 to a thousand pound set, why wouldn't you put it in a 50 pound or whatever case? Now this luckily didn't cost that. These cost about 25, 30 pound. If you uh, use the link in the description down below, it will take you, if you're from the UK, if you head on over to voltx.com or use the link in the description, you'll get 10% off anything that you order. So I believe these are about £26. If you use a discount code, that knocks it down to like £24. Whereas the Ultra Pro versions of these are like £45, £50. So uh, they're literally half the price. Also, if you're from outside of the UK, you can actually purchase these just from Amazon. And if you go through to Amazon, you can use the discount code in Amazon when you're purchasing anything with Voltex, that is, the word Hammonds, H-A-M-M-O-N-D-S. That will give you 10% off on Amazon as well. So feel free to use that code. It's, it's entirely up to you. Right, so let's actually open up the set. As you can see on the front here, I got this vinyl made up that says Tops Chrome, because obviously it's a chrome set. Really, I think I should have probably got Refractor Complete Set or Refractor Master Set, something like that. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Comment down below. So let's get right into it. So we've got our white and gold binder. And this is the complete refractor set from 2021. Now, if you guys remember, 2021 was probably one of the greatest years in Formula One history, uh, where Lewis and Max obviously took it down to the wire. Uh, there was um, a lot of uh, things that happened throughout the year, and it just all built up into this one moment uh, in the final race of the final lap, almost on the final corner, where um, there was a controversial decision made where the cars between Max and Lewis got told to overtake the safety car just so Max and Lewis could race it out to the end. Obviously it gave us a thrilling end. I really enjoyed it. It'll probably go down as one of the best ends to a season that, that I can recall. Um, but this set in particular, um, obviously is the complete roster for 2021 and obviously a lot of the um driver of the days and the um the race winners are actually from 2020 because they always use the people that won the year before on the following set um so there's some variations here so like what you'll notice is that sebastian vettel is in the aston martin uh, kit here but later on in the set he's in a ferrari costume so uh, that can be a little bit confusing and i've noticed uh, 
over the last year or so box breakers have found it really confusing like if they pull this Sebastian Vettel card who gets it the person who purchased the Ferrari slot or the person who bought the Aston Martin so they have to make it really clear at the beginning so that that has thrown some people off but uh yeah, we'll go through it and have a look at all the images, but I've noticed that obviously we've started opening up Flagship 2022. That's the brand new set that's just come out. If you've been watching my channel, you would have seen me doing some unboxings already. And uh, a lot of people have said, I prefer the uh, 2021 set. Which is funny because I remember when 2021 came out and everyone was saying, I prefer 2020. So it's like people always prefer the year before uh, of the new set. And I think that's just because people get accustomed to how things are laid out and their favourite drivers, their favourite teams. And then all of a sudden, now this company tops. <laughs> They're trying to mix things up. They're trying to change things. And just people just can't get their head around it. But I actually really like the new way 2022 is laid out. But we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, this one has the same sort of format as 2020. Uh, you have all the base drivers to start off with. And they are, I would say, your chase cards. If you have a particular favorite driver, they're sort of preferred image in the collector's world is their portrait base image so from image number one Lewis Hamilton all the way through to image number 20 which is Nicholas Latifi these are like your top images now some people may the odd person may prefer a action shot or them in their car or something like that but I'm just saying in general these are like your chase cards so obviously the main ones are going to be Lewis and Max, so they, they sort of are holding their value uh, at the moment. And as I've always said in my previous videos, uh, that Lando Norris is a very popular choice. And actually now that I've created my own website, Hammond's Hobbies, and I've actually included a search bar, I can actually view the data of like what people are searching for the most. And oddly enough, the most popular search term on Hammond'sHobbies.com is Lando Norris and Mick Schumacher. I, I wouldn't have thought that, but there you go. Uh, Mick Schumacher seems very popular uh, in the world of uh, people buying single cards from my website, at least anyway. So we have like the base 20 drivers. Then it moves on to the drivers in sort of like more action, more relaxed poses. Um, but I just don't like, I've said this before in previous videos, I don't like how this is laid out. Just in my mind everything should be neat organized have a place position but these are just random so like you've got after Latifi it goes Sebastian Vettel then Orlando Norris Bottas Lance Stroll Charles Leclerc like and then there's another Charles Leclerc and another Charles Leclerc but then there's only one of the others uh, it just I don't know it's just a bit mishmashy for my liking but there are some really cool images I really like this one of Sebastian Vettel actually uh, I think that looks really cool George Russell a lot of people call this the sippy cup card because he's sipping a cup <laughs> and then we move on to uh, the rest of their action shots um, obviously being a Lewis fan I really like this image but I also really like this one so this is actually Max Verstappen when he's won a race but the LED screen, the LED screen behind him, is obviously projecting like a massive Max Verstappen image on the background. But actually, this looks like Tops have designed the background of this card. It looks like this has been designed like this, but it's not. It's just that's how the screen was behind him when he was pulling this pose and someone took a picture. So I actually really like this one. I think it's a really cool uh, designed image. This one though has to be the Lewis Hamilton in front of this Ferris wheel has to be probably my favorite image of the set. Some people collect rainbows of this card, so this card is very sought after. Um, I know a lot of the sapphires go for quite big money of this version of the card. So it's not just me, other people really appreciate or like this image as well. It's a nighttime shot, you've got fireworks going off, you've got that Ferris wheel, you've got the car in the background, Lewis is in his helmet. So I don't know, it's just, it's a really cool image uh, in my opinion. We move on to the F2 guys. There's quite a lot of them in this set actually, quite a lot of F2 drivers. Obviously some of them have moved up to F1 now. Some of them haven't, some of them have sort of like not been as popular as they were in 2020. So 
things change. Uh, that's why I always say you shouldn't invest in cards. You should just collect what you enjoy. Also, we have the team bosses. So uh, again, I don't like the way some of this is laid out. Some of them have two. So Mercedes have two team bosses. Red Bull have two team bosses. Ferrari has one. Some of them have one. Some of them have two. I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get why they would do that. But never mind. And some of these don't even feature that much on TV, as far as I'm aware. So I just don't know why they've included two of some drivers, uh, some teams, sorry. Then we move on to the car card. So obviously there's 20 images there, one for each driver in their car. Obviously this is the car images uh, before the big regulation change where they've tried to make it closer for overtaking. So I know that some people have said, I prefer the 2021 cars as opposed to the 2022. So if you do, then this is a lovely set to try and complete because that's the last time we'll see those shaped cars. Then you move on to the F2 cars as well. So again, got a load of them, one of every single driver in their car. Uh, unusually, this isn't like them on the track like they are with the F1 guys. This is just a CGI image in the background with like a blur effect. And then the cars printed on top of it. So bit bit different. I'm not a huge fan of them myself. Then we move on to the Grand Prix winners and the... Um, driver of the days obviously the year that this is being a massive amount of mercedes winning in this one mercedes were very very dominant in this year so we've got loads of lewis's and then there's the odd max dotted about uh, and actually towards the end of this season you see that red bull improved so much because all of a sudden red bull started winning quite a few races towards the end of the season um especially within Max. So, but heavily dominated by Lewis and Max, as always. <laughs> and then we move on to the uh, driver of the day. So obviously this is where different drivers get voted by the public all around the world. Uh, whilst they're racing, people can actually log on to the F1 website and actually pick who they think is the driver of the day. Then we have some of the uh, F1 awards. So Lewis Hamilton won the title that year. And obviously we have this confetti image, which looks really cool. I've got this in a few different variations actually across flagship and Chrome. Um, then we have the Mercedes uh, winning the Constructors Championship. At this point, I think this is their seventh world title. I think in the next set, it'll be their eighth but they won seven consecutive so one after the other uh, which no one's ever done before not even the mighty ferrari back in their day and then we have the f1 freshers so these are like the rookies that have gone into this year so we have uh yuki sonoda uh mick schumacher and nikita mazepin nikita mazepin no longer in f1 and actually f uh, as of next year mick schumacher no longer in f1 um but maybe a reserve driver for Mercedes. We'll see. So that's it. That's the entire refractor set. I think the way that the images glisten in different light looks really cool. Like if you shine it in certain lights, they almost look yellow, blue, purple. Um, it just looks cool. I, I think in a, in a binder, when you see them all like that glistening, it just looks really nice. But maybe I'm like a magpie. I just like shiny things. <laughs> And that's it, that's the end of the set. Now, if you wanted to really go a step further, you could complete the image variations, which are a lot rarer pulls. I actually have a few of those. So these are the couple that I have got. We've got the Lewis Hamilton variation. So the reason these are called variations is that this is actually image number one. So it's numbered exactly the same as this portrait shot here. Uh, but as you can see, completely different images. So this is considered his variation. It's also known as a SP, which is short print, meaning that this image here, they printed millions of, I don't know, probably 50,000 times. Whereas this image, they might have only printed 2,000 of them or something like that. So there's a lot less of these images than there are this one. So this is called a short print card and it's also an image variation you can see there it says number one it's a shame that they don't put like sp or short print on there so that we know clearly because 
when a new set comes out like the flagship 2022 a lot of people have messaged me saying glenn have you found a short print uh, uh, image variation yet and i'm like I don't know. I haven't seen online any of the images that are variations. So I've just had to collate all the cards together and have a look to see if there was a different image. So I don't know. It would be nice if they put short print or something on the back of the card. Uh, but I also have Sebastian Vettel as well in his helmet. Um, so these are the two variations that I've got. I believe there's about six to eight image variations of different drivers actually um so actually i still need to collect a few more but these are refractor versions so i could add that to this set but i'm not going to just yet uh, i'm gonna wait but that's it what do you guys think of this uh complete refractor set of chrome 2021 i have got just so you guys know a ton like i'm talking probably two thousand refractors from 2021 so i've actually tried to hold off i've tried to um wait until i've got a lot of free time because i know it's going to take me ages to list them so if you are if you're after like a complete set yourself of refractors i am actually selling i believe i've got one or two more complete sets of refractors from 2021 but if you want to just finish off your own refractor set and you want the odd card, do keep an eye on HammondsHobbies.com. Uh, They're not on there just yet, but I will be uploading them very shortly. Chrome 2021 is the next set I want to hit hard on uploading to the website. Make sure you follow the Facebook group F1 Sports Cards because I always post on there, hey guys, I'm listing this set today or what set would you like me to list next? Um, so I always put input into the group. That's F1 Sports Cards. If you want to see me unpack packs, <laughs> then make sure you follow me over on TikTok as well and Instagram under the name Hammonds Hobbies. But that's it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that content. If you have, smash that like button up before you leave this video. Make sure you click subscribe and also follow me on my other social medias under the name Hammonds Hobbies. And make sure you check out HammondsHobbies.com. That's it from me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.